What I have right in here is the wildest PC that I've seen on Amazon bar none. Kyler hasn't even seen it yet and he's very excited to take a look. What are you expecting out of this? Uh, something shaped like uh, this, a spun, uh, an onion. Onion. So I haven't told Kyler a single thing about what's in this box, but I have been looking forward to it from the day I saw the Amazon listing. I saw it and I decided I had to have it. And from the start, this packaging is not off to a good place. Card styrofoam that's in here. This is not how you should package computers. They didn't even bother using an Instapack, which once I show it to you and explain, you'll understand why it might not be the best system possible. Look at this bad boy. You're so confused. Kyler has the most furrowed brow I've ever seen. I'm very confused. This is the wildest computer that I have ever seen on Amazon. So this is actually shipped and sold by Skytech USA LLC, which I was really confused about because I know Skytech Gaming is a producer of custom PCs. They actually like will build you your own. So when I saw this, it was made by Skytech. I was like, oh, it's reputable. I should try it out. Turns out completely different company. <laughs> this is Skytech USA, and the ones who actually make the custom PCs is Skytech Gaming. So Skytech USA, if you go over on their Newegg page or you go over on their Amazon page, they just bling up regular old desktop office PCs. So they have what this is called their treasure box series, but then they also have just like RGBified HP pavilions that you can find for sale. So this is their gold version. They also have this in a black version as well as a silver version, but this is glittered to all heck and back. That is crazy. They did a pretty decent job on the actual painting of everything. There's a little mist paint down there. There's a small little gouge right there. And then if we take a look, they even painted the DVD slot. When I saw this, I was like, oh, this is gonna be absolutely garbage. But turns out, oh no. Did you hear that there's a, a glitter shortage in the world? There's a glitter shortage? Yeah. And they're using it on PCs like this? My friends, today's video is sponsored by Keeps. Did you know that two out of three guys will experience some form of hair loss by the time they're 35? And as somebody who's rapidly approaching that deadline, I am more nervous about it than ever. But the good news is that the best way to prevent hair loss is to do something about it before it starts. And that's where Keeps comes in. Keeps has clinically proven research backed treatments to stop hair loss and improve hair growth. They have quality expert care without you ever needing to go to a doctor or a pharmacy. And all Keeps plans are recommended by a licensed medical provider and delivered straight to your door at about half the cost of a traditional pharmacy. And they have a routine that works for you, whether you're looking to prevent hair loss, stimulate hair growth, or just take better care of the hair that you have, Keeps has you covered. Because in addition to the clinically proven treatments, Keeps has an award-winning all-natural thickening shampoo and conditioner system. And Keeps physicians will help you select the right products and treatments for for your specific condition and hair goals. And if you go to keeps.com forward slash UFD, you'll get 50% off your first order with them. Again, that's K-E-E-P-S.com forward slash UFD or click the link in the video description. Big thanks to Keeps for sponsoring today's video and make sure that your hair stays on your head. Obviously, because this is an office PC, you're not expecting a whole lot out of the specs. And in that case, it would be completely correct. So we have a Core i5 quad core, 16 gigs of RAM and a 512 gig SSD, as well as this optical drive right there. I wanna find what that noise was. Oh boy. They didn't paint the DVD drive except for this front section right here. The Core i5's under here, we've got the SSD right there, the 16 gigs of RAM. There is a PCI Express slot right there. So if we wanted to add a GPU, we potentially could. It would have to be a low profile one. I wouldn't trust the power supply. It says it shall not exceed 255 watts, which considering the i5 that's in here, you could upgrade this. Have I told you the price yet, Kyler? You have not, you've left that out. Oh, I want you to take a guess. Two to three hundred dollars. A hundred and seventy. Okay. That's not bad. It's not bad. So this has a performance bracket for the CPU right here. We should test how this performs stock and then we'll upgrade the thermal base and see. It's just an Optiplex painted gold. That's all this is. They did a good job at the paint. I was really expecting this to be bad. Everything's done pretty well. So even though this isn't the official SkyTech gaming that I initially assumed it would be, this is still at least uh, quality enough for what you would spend $170 on. I'm looking at $155 is the first result for an i5 with 16 gigs of RAM and a 500 gig SSD. So it's not 
horrendously upcharged. And I can tell you, I wouldn't have glittered it as well as they did. This is actually pretty decent, but we need to plug this in. It doesn't have HDMI. It has DisplayPort or VGA. I have a TV here. So it only took like four days and like an entire reset decoration for us to get a VGA to HDMI adapter so that we can actually test out this PC, but we're back. How well does it work? The answer is not good. It's 2022 and I didn't expect to get defeated by a very low end computer because it has a VGA port, but I'm now realizing what my mistake was. If we take a look at this adapter, what you'll find out is that it's HDMI input to VGA output and we need a VGA input to an HDMI output. We don't own any VGA cables here in the office. So we're gonna try to fit this low profile GTX 1650 into this PC right here. Which I'm not 100% sure it's gonna work and we'll have to adapt this because it's not set up as low profile. Oh no, it's too, oh no. It wants it to slot in like this, but the slot isn't there. The slot that matches up is this short one, this PCI Express 1.0 slot. That's the one that matches up with here if I do a dual slot card. So I'd have to do a single slot card in order to get it to fit in here. Man, I thought we had something there. It is $18 to get a VGA cable. That is ridiculous. Okay, after many days, we have solved my modern frustrations of older computer parts, and we have picked up a VGA cable to actually hook it up to the monitor. And then we also got a single slot GPU that we're gonna be testing out on this too. Oh no, I have been so hyper fixated this entire time on this VGA cable. I totally forgot it had DisplayPort. We have monitors with DisplayPort. There we go, finally. So you don't have to go through all this if you're buying this PC. You can just hook it up to a display port. Getting Windows 10 set up just like a normal PC. I'm glad that they don't have this preloaded and you can actually choose all of the options that you want. This PC doesn't feel super slow just through that process. Wow, I'm actually really surprised. There is like no bloat. VLC media players pre-installed, Edge is pre-installed, and maybe Microsoft Office, I think I saw it. Yeah, Microsoft Office 365, but there is not a lot of bloatware. Oh, wow. This uh, processor is an i5-4590 running at 3.3 gigahertz, boosting up to 3.6 right now. 16 gigs of DDR3, 1600 megahertz. King fast, 500 gigabyte SSD. I'm presuming that's gonna be fine. Gigabit ethernet and an HD 4600. This honestly is not a terrible system for $170. This is the bones of something pretty decent. If you just need a regular office PC and you wanna stand out a little bit, you can totally do it with this bad boy. I mean, this is an i5-4590. My first PC build on this channel was an i5-4460. i5-4460 versus i5-4590. This one's slightly faster. Yeah, according to reports, this is like two to 3% faster. That is not bad. All right, well, let's boot up an eSports game. Let's try CSGO, see how well the 4590, which HD 4600 graphics performs. And then we'll pop in this RX 6400 single slot GPU, which this is the smallest GPU box I've seen in my entire life. This is the RTX 4090 box. This is the ARC A380 box. And then this is the 6400 box. This is crazy. Low profile bracket, you love to see it. HDMI display port, that's all you need. Speakers, what speakers? The computer has a speaker! That's coming out of the computer! It also comes with a Wi-Fi adapter, a little USB plus Bluetooth Wi-Fi adapter that you can plug into the front panel. This is really well thought out. Every step of the way, I've been actually kind of more impressed with this PC than I thought it was going to be. The paint job, actually not too bad. The accessories it includes, not too bad. It has DisplayPort. If I wasn't such an idiot, we would have been resolved with this a lot faster. It does support a single slot, low profile GPU, which we're gonna add in and see how that goes. This overall seems like a pretty decent buy and it's gonna stand out. You could also get it in black. You don't have to get the gold one. I have to take the cooler off to swap the bracket out, but uh, it has the warranty void sticker on here. Thanks XFX. And like they ship the low profile bracket, so they have to be expecting that you're doing this. Look at that cooler. It just has a single heat pipe. So in the time that it's taken me to swap this GPU to low profile, CSGO has not loaded. I'm gonna guess it does not like the 4600 running on this. And just in the loading screen, it was using 91% of the entire GPU. So let's not even try, like I know you can game 
on the HD4600. In fact, we had an entire series here on UFD Tech way back when called Will It Play, where I would just try out games like CSGO on integrated graphics. So I know it's capable, but let's just boost this thing to the max. Let's slap this 6400 into this PC. Stupid VGA cables. That fan's gonna be able to spin. That'll be okay. Now this is a gaming PC. Blingy boy, she booting up. Instantly works on the OLED display. This is already going way faster, running at 120 FPS in the menu. So just quickly running through, this is like 200 FPS. That's not bad. It struggled a little bit on the 1% and 0.1% lows, but that's usually always the first pass, first time you're loading up a game. We're pulling 20 watts, 25 to 30 watts on the GPU, 45 watts on the CPU. The system's probably only pulling 100 watts in total. This, this is a pretty decent, like, little esports machine. 100 FPS. I didn't even check this. I don't even know what settings we're running in. I just let it go. Yeah, we're running at 1080p high and we're getting between 100 and 200 FPS. My guess is it's averaging close to 200. Smoke's getting a little smoky, 30 FPS. This is a decent performing system and the GPU is not sweltering high. It's like right around 80 degrees Celsius. The CPU's running at 60 degrees Celsius. I can hear the graphics card taking off just to scooch, but we're running at 300 FPS at the moment. All right, that's good enough to run CSGO in my book. Let's uh let's pull up a triple A game. How's she doing, Spider-Man? Well, we're gonna put FSR 2.1 on. Take dynamic resolution scaling off, V-Sync off. Let's go 1080p medium. 1080p medium with FSR 2.1 on, we're gonna get 60 FPS. I might be very ambitious with this. It's been a long time since I've tried to play a triple A game on low-end hardware. I feel I'm putting in my guess 45. 45 sounds better. We're at 180 in the menu. Graphics card's spinning up a little bit. Like the airflow in here. Not great, but the GPU likely won't die. Oh boy, I was, we were way too optimistic, my friend. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're getting close to 60. Oh, oh boy. Oh, it's the fire. Let's keep FSR 2.1 on. Let's go to graphics. Go very low. Keep in mind, we are playing on a, on a 4K TV. So this looks worse than it would. At, okay, here's the web swinging. Oh, this is still tough. 30 FPS sub 30 fps i mean this is playable i've played games like this as a child just slapping in whatever graphics card would fit you can play the game this is worse than the steam deck though let's just drop it you buy a 720p monitor it's not gonna be a big deal that why is it running worse keep in mind this does not look as bad i'm not a 55 inch oled 50 inch oled tv this looks this looks brutal irl but you would not be pairing this pc with a with an oled tv Oh, we're getting 70, 80 FPS climbing up. Oh, it looks like it's, okay. It struggles. What resolution you at now? 720 with FSR on. So that's, it's doing stuff. Uh, on the ground is where it's, it's pretty bad. Rendering on all these people. Oh man. Hmm. If this was all I could do, this is all I could do. I, I have a feeling your parents aren't gonna be buying you the gold PC, but you can make it work. It does kind of work for video games, especially if you are just trying to play something like CSGO, Overwatch, League of Legends. I think, I think it could handle it. I, I'm actually more than impressed with this PC. The paint job on it, number one, the inside of it, pretty decent. Overall, for the price point you're paying compared to what you would get for not a blinged out PC, I would I would spring for the for the glitter. Even during the glitter shortage. Get subscribed.